Lava has entered Grindavik. This is in the Ephrahope suburb of the Grindavik that the new fissure opened up into the town and is uh, er at the moment is erupting lava at a high rate at the same rate as the rest of the eruption. It has started small, of course, but then it formed a cone. You can see the cone shape there. It's a spatter cone and a fissure which has multiple uh, uh, eruption points, eruptive points, going toward the Ephrahop. That's the uh, suburb of the Grindavik. So there is a possibility because the cracks are already there, it may extend further down and we have more. We don't need even to wait for that because the lava has already entered that area. That road you see there is now breached. Also the road a, uh, the road 43, which is from the Grindavik to the north, is also breached. Now you can see the time lapse that we have created here. You can see that. And uh, the new map is now updated. I've waited for the uh, Atlantic Authority to add it. Uh, it was a little bit late, so I just added it myself. And as you can see, and presto, Iceland Meteorological Office also updated that. The location looks very similar. And it may extend further. As you can see, there are plenty of fault lines in that area. And old dikes, these are weak points that they can cause eruption. I had ideas about, I had a video about how to save the Green Devic. My suggestions probably should have been listened to. What is happening to the Green Devic and where to build it again? Grindavik uh, is in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, in the northern Atlantic Ocean. In this area, we had an uplift to the east and the west, and the central part, which was this town, is actually sinking, going down. And this is a grabbing situation. We have two fault lines controlling at the center. The town is falling. The whole area, the zone is falling, and a magma is rising there. This is the Eurasian plate separating from the North American plate, Tectonically, this is an active region, mid-oceanic ridge we call it. This is where the ground, the new earth, the new lithosphere is being built by the magma, which is we, we can see through this three-dimensional region. Through the seals is rising, filling up the gap that created when the cracks in the ground appear. Rising to the ground, gluing it again in a way you can say. It takes a long time actually to dry. That's not a very good glue in that sense. But anyway, when the movements of the blocks of the lithosphere, the earth crust happens, this is the rising of the magma which creates these volcanic eruptions. We see the lava at the surface, and that is what we call a volcanic eruption. Grindavik, where it is now, people probably will not return to it. If they can get insurance money for it and go somewhere else, they will probably do it although it is home for many of them. But there are possibilities that, can, uh, that you can actually uh, take the old Grindavik and put it somewhere that is actually the land is rising to the east part of it, where it is more sheltered. Old Grindavik transferred to the east part in that peninsula is actually where it is rising. You will be safer probably in that sense. Grindavik is like Florida, for the United States of America. It has a subpolar oceanic climate, very similar to the Faroe Islands or the very northern parts of the Scotland. It is ice-free through the year, so it's a favorable place. Florida in America is such a place. Expensive, very rich people only can live there, but we can build it again. This is a future probably for a Grindavik to move a little bit to somewhere safer.